welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah and in today's video, we're gonna be giving our kitchen and also our dining space here a little bit of a summer reset or summer refresh. I'm really looking forward to it. I still have a bunny out from spring, so definitely time to change some things up. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning and then also adding in a few new decor pieces that I've recently picked up. So I hope you enjoy the video and thank you so much for being here. This morning, I ran to Hobby Lobby with the intention of picking up one item, which I will share with you in a second. But while I was there, I did find several vases marked down on clearance. Most of them were less than $5. The larger one I found was like seven something. So I felt like that was a really great deal for some really beautiful vases. I love to bring the outdoors in all through the summer months, just clipping different things that I find in the yard and having plenty of vases on hand is key. So I felt like at those prices, I couldn't pass them up. This breadboard is what I actually went to Hobby Lobby to get since they have marked all of their spring things down to 50% off. I was patiently waiting for it to go from 40 to 50. Thankfully, they still had it in stock, so I grabbed that. Also, I recently picked up a new linen tablecloth for our table, and I grabbed that off of Amazon. This is currently our busy season on our farm and just with the kids wrapping up school things for the year, it's just a really busy time for us. And so that means there's really not any kind of deep cleaning going on around here and probably won't be for quite some time. So right now I'm just trying to pick up on a daily basis, doing the best I can. Nothing is perfect. Our house stays messy, you know, day to day, but I do try to make it a point to do my dishes at night before bed. I find that waking up to a semi-clean kitchen as far as like dishes and things like like that go um, it just makes a world of difference in the way my day goes so for today I already have the dishes done I'm just wiping up the counters a little bit and then I'll just kind of pick up some of the things that are laying around but that's probably about it as far as cleaning goes in here And just a word of encouragement if you find yourself in a really busy season like we are right now and you feel like there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done, just hit the high points. Make sure that your counters are clean, dishes are put away and washed and things like that. And honestly, the things that bother us are things that no one else probably would notice. Like no one's really gonna be inspecting our floors to make sure they're perfectly clean or you know, doing the white glove test on our furniture. That's just not gonna be happening. So a lot of times we make it harder on ourselves than we need to, but just do the main things and find peace with that. And just, you know, I've found that when I do that, it makes me happier and it also makes my family happier. So we're not striving for perfection. We just want things to be good enough to get us through the day. I thought it was time to go ahead and remove the bunny that I had sitting there for Easter decoration and just replace it with something simple that will carry us through the season. I also decided to move the plant I had in the corner of our countertop to this shelf, hoping it'll be a little happier here. I could tell it just was no longer liking that corner. Everything else that you see in our kitchen area is pretty much the same as it was when I decorated and cleaned in here for spring and shared a video on that. I did end up kind of decluttering the countertop space a little bit more uh, just to simplify things. Like I said, for our busy season, I just find that's what works best, just keeping the things out that we actually use day to day. If you're looking for more deep cleaning motivation, I will leave a link down in the description box to my spring deep cleaning video that I did of this space where I pulled out the refrigerator and did a lot of those bigger deep cleaning tasks. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll definitely link that one down below. Long 
along with wiping down the countertops pretty regularly. I also tend to wipe down our appliances pretty regularly only because we have stainless steel and they tend to show every little print. So that's definitely something I try to stay on top of as well. For our dining space, I'm just going to dust very lightly on this hutch and remove as much of the dust as I can. I'm not going to take everything out of the cabinet here, I'm just going to kind of wipe around the best I can and call it good. I've been meaning to share these new dishes with you all that my mom found at Goodwill. Actually, they're in perfect condition. She got an entire box of these dishes for like $15. I can't even remember how many plates. I'm wanting to say there was like 15 plates, maybe or maybe more. Um, but I just thought this was so beautiful and I'm so excited to be able to add this to our china cabinet. Because we live in an older house, I guess, you know, when we would walk by, they would rattle. So that's why I put little pieces of paper towel in between each of the dishes. That's just to keep them from like rattling every time we walk by. slowly been trying to get all of the windows in our house nice and clean for spring and summer. They definitely got really dirty over the winter. Uh, the last time I cleaned them really well was in the fall, so definitely time to do that. Um, but because I'm short on time right now, I'm just tackling a window or two here and there just as I can. And so for today, I focused on the two windows here in our dining room. I use e-cloths to clean all of like the windows and glass surfaces in our house and even our TV as well. It just works really well. It's kind of like a two-part system. You have a microfiber cleansing cloth that you wet with water and wipe everything down. And then the second cloth you keep dry and you use it as a polishing cloth to finish everything off. Um, but it only requires water and you can rewash them over and over again. And I've not found anything that works better than these. So that's my go-to. As far as the window seals go, I just use some Thieves Cleaner and a paper towel to wipe those out. Thought you all might like to see a Sean and Penelope update. They are growing and getting feistier every day. So it's definitely their lunchtime and they are letting me know it. So a quick break to give these guys some food and then we'll get back at it. Here's a closer look at a couple of the vases I picked up this morning on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I'm just so excited with these. I definitely wasn't even shopping for any, but as I mentioned earlier at those prices, I couldn't pass them up. So I'm going to experiment around with them a little bit and see how I want to use them in our kitchen. I'm very excited to dress up our kitchen table a little bit for the summer months. Um, I always have a lot of fun doing this. It feels nice because the kids are no longer having lots of school projects or homework assignments. Um, they're no longer having to charge Chromebooks every night. This tends to be the space where all of that happens. And because of our schedule right now, we're kind of eating all over the place. Sometimes we're outside, sometimes we're on the go. Other times we'll just kind of gather in the living room and eat together, so very informal. Definitely a fun opportunity for me to dress our table up just a little bit. One of my favorite things to do throughout the summer months is to clip things from outside and bring them in. I love growing cut flowers, but of course none of those are ready yet. And I have several plants like perennials in my cottage garden that I'll clip throughout the summer, but I really don't have many of those ready yet either. So I decided to just clip some branches from this wild cherry tree and use those instead, just to add a little life to the space and make things feel a little fresh for summer. I 
found that it was much easier and much cleaner to do the arranging part outside on the porch and then just bring the vases in when I had them done and then add water once they were inside. These are really beautiful branches from a wild cherry tree out in our yard and I'm not sure how long they'll last um, but I am gonna you know add some water and see if I can at least get maybe a week or so out of them. I don't know. Uh, we'll see but hopefully by the time these fizzle out I will have some blooms ready to take their place. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of encouragement or inspiration to maybe do a few things to make your own home feel a little more summer ready. But if you are visiting today for the first time, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, thank you all for being here and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.